Recently, I've started testing a new company's sharpening stones, and I'm coming to the conclusion that these are the best sharpening stones you can buy. Now, I've tested pretty much everything on the market as far as sharpening stones go, at least every version or every type of sharpening stone, and resin bonded diamond stones have been my favorite. That's what's been my favorite for a long time. Now, there is another stone that's similar to resin bonded diamonds, but it's bonded by metal. So it's a metal bonded CBN stone. So what's the difference between CBN and diamond? Well, CBN is, a, is technically a little less hard than diamond. Diamond is a little bit harder, but CBN is cubic boron nitride. And it's very, very similar to a diamond, but as, as far as the grade of hardness goes, it would be one level down. However, for knife sharpening, it has incredible, incredible wear resistance. And then over time, while it's wearing, the edges tend to stay sharper. So they tend to cut a little bit faster. And to my understanding, for sharpening purposes, you know, and also uh, things that create a lot of friction or a lot of speed or heat, CBNs tend to do a little bit better than diamonds. Now diamonds, you know, and the CBNs, you're gonna be hard pressed to really see much of a difference. Um, you might see a little bit difference as I have in how fast they wear which you if you have good diamond plates, they don't wear incredibly fast anyways, but they eventually do wear out. And same thing with a CBN, but the CBNs tend to seem like they hold on to the bite longer, meaning because all diamond plates, as you start using them, they eventually wear into like a finer and finer grit and they just kind of get finer and finer until they wear out. Uh, these guys will, will keep that aggression for a bit longer. So when you take CBN or diamond and mix them in a bonding agent like these, a metallic bonded or resin bonded, they are basically mixed throughout the bond. So as you wear off the top layer, you only get into more and more diamonds, you know, and that's why you resurface them, you know, and condition them a little bit to basically expose the diamonds out of the surface. But the entire bond is filled with diamonds. So that's another reason why they can be a little bit more pricier. Um, but another reason also why they last so, so long. Now the metallic bonded ones are, I think it's a bronze, uh, mixed with CBN. It's like a copper and a zinc, I think, mix. And then the, the, you know, the plate is an aluminum plate. And then the resin, I'm not sure the recipe here, uh, but you know, it, it's uh, a very durable, very wear resistant uh, stone. So it's nice and hard, cuts fast, and it lasts a very long time. And that goes for both of these. But the metal bond CBN will definitely wear slower, so it'll last a lot longer. I've tested metal bonded CBN stones in the past, but didn't really like them because they didn't cut. They were just such slow cutting stones. However, this company has extremely, extremely high concentrated stones. These cut like a beast. Now they have resin bonded diamond stones and metal bonded CBN stones. Now, another thing is that they are going to have, or they have, sorry, they have all different sizes. I have freehand stones on the way, and I have thin stones for recurves coming as well. So they're gonna have all different sizes, you know, just depending on what you want. Right now, I've only tested the one by six. I'm waiting for the freehand stones now. We'll do another video on that. I want to talk about these new stones and the, the bond thickness versus the competition. So the price versus the bond, because the bond thickness is basically the life of the stone. So if we move to Venives, which have been my favorite resin bonded diamond stones for a long time, for years. They have two different versions of their three by eight stones. This is the Dragon series, which are about $260. You're getting two millimeters thick bonded resin on each side. So it's a double-sided stone, two millimeters thick resin bonded diamonds. And like I said, $260 a piece. So each one of these are 260. Now, if you go to their Phoenix, which is the same size, same everything, except for the resin bonded diamond is only one millimeter thick. They're about $135 a piece. Now, the, the ones from these guys, 
um, you know, depending on if resin or metallic bonded CB end, they are, and I have them on the way, they have the three by eights at three millimeters thick. So three millimeters thick bond, so way more life than you're gonna get even on the, the, uh, the dragons, and they're gonna be about the same price. So about two, between 250 and 260 for the, um, the same size stone, uh, three by eight stone, but you're gonna get more life out of it because you'll have one millimeter thick extra re um, resin or metallic bonded CBS. Nanowaz are one millimeter thick, and this is a resin bonded diamond stone, one millimeter thick for $135 a piece. Um, so you can see, obviously, you know, you're getting a, a quite a bit more for your money in, you know, compared to these guys. Now, as far as the one by six inch stone, so this is a one by six centaur, it's double sided. So there's, you know, it's a double sided stone. These are two millimeters thick per side. And there's three stones all together, which are six stones basically, because three double sided, two millimeters thick on each side. And if you get the whole pack of three and you buy it together, it'll be 130 bucks or $51 a piece. So $51 a piece or 130 bucks if you get them all at the same time. Now, if you get the single sided, these stones, but single sided, very similar to, to what you're getting right here just single sided, just like this, they are $63 a piece. So $63 for the single sided and uh, $51 for the double sided, but you don't get the metal blank with the ridges. Not that it matters always, you know, I, I've just used these you know, in most uh, systems, you can just clamp them just fine. Uh, but as far as these guys, they are, so for the resin bonded diamonds, you're talking, $64 a piece. Now you can get seven stones, I think for like 513. They range between $342 for seven stones for the whole set up to $640, just depending on which version you get. Because the metallic bonded CBN stones are a bit more money. They are, um, they don't wear as fast as the resin bonded. They're still three millimeters thick. Uh, but they are $93 a piece or $81 a piece, just depending if you get the light or, or the premium. So $81 or $93 for these. And then these ones, like I said, uh, $64 a piece or like $513 for the whole set. So you know, it does range in price just depending on which one you get, but you're getting more stones uh, because with, you're getting actually an extra stone. All the other companies, it's basically a six stone setup. These guys have seven. Now you can get two more on top of it, which would be nine technically, um, if you buy the extra stones, uh, because they do have two more that are like, um, super, super fine. You know, the, 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 what is it? The, like they have, they have a five, a 10 and a 15,000, I think. Um, I don't have the 10,000, but I, I'm pretty sure they have that. If not, they have the 5,000 and the 15,000. So to compare them to Hapstones, yeah, so Hapstones have um, metal bonded CBN stones for wait, three millimeters thick, very similar to these. Well, one big difference though is these guys cut fast. These guys don't. Now this might have a finer polish in the end, um, while this might have a really good polish with a little bit uh, more of a scratch pattern or a little bit deeper scratch pattern, which does result in more bite. But they are um, different in that way, that these are much finer than these, even at the same grit. The 80 grit versus 80 grit, there's like no comparison. These cut, these ones uh, don't seem to cut nowhere near as fast. Now. For the Hapstone Premium CBNs, because there's the premiums, they are $468 for six stones or $79 a piece. Now you can get the diamond uh, Hapstone's um, resin bonded diamond, I think for $67 a piece. So right around uh, the same price. But like I said, from my experience, I haven't tried Hapstone's uh, resin bonded diamonds. I think that's what it is, but either way, they're, they're metal bonded CBN stones, or maybe it's metal bonded diamond. I'm not sure that that winds up being $67 a piece, but either way, they're metallic bonded uh, CBN. I personally, you know, I love everything from Hapstone. I think they're a great company and I highly recommend getting their stuff. I, I link them all the time. I talk about them all the time. Definitely uh, get sharpening supplies from Hapstone. Awesome, awesome company. But as far as the metal bonded stones, um, I like them, but they don't cut nowhere near as fast. So I don't like them for reprofiling 
or really even sharpening. I, I like them more for like just edge finishing. Um, like if I want a, like a, a nice polish or something. This just gives you a gen general idea of what you're expecting from the amount of time it's gonna take to wear them out, which is an incredible amount of time. Like these could last possibly, they could last you forever. Um, just depending on how much you sharpen. These are, in my opinion, a must for anybody running a sharpening service or anybody doing a lot of sharpening because, you know, you could buy diamond plate after diamond plate after diamond plate, or you could just buy these, which will last a very long time and give you the ability to get up to super fine edges that diamond plates don't always allow you to get to without putting in other stones. But it gives you an idea of the thickness of the bond and the price. I want you guys to get an idea of what these are like to use. So we're going to talk about what they're like to use how they work and then also the differences between them because you do use them a little bit different and we're going to compare them to other stones on the market you know to really give you an idea of what they're like compared to those if you've tried those or maybe you know just to give you an idea we're going to start off with the resin bonded diamonds now the resin bonded diamonds you can see there's a lot of stones uh but i don't know if you need all of them i mean it's cool to get all of them but you have an 80 a 160 a 240 uh, 325, 650, 1500, 3000, 5000, and a 15,000. Now, as far as the stones go with concentration, these are high concentration stones. They have a lot of diamond. Uh, they cut extremely fast. Um, in my opinion, they have amazing, amazing feedback. So when you're using them, like you can really, in my opinion, I think you can get a really good feeling of how to hold your angle. Uh, but that's from my experience. My experience is, is the more I can feel the abrasive in the stone, it seems the more, the, the easier I'm able to hold my angle. Now these are, like I said, lots of feedback. They work really well. Feedback is basically just the feeling you have when you're going across the stone and like how it feels when you're changing angles and things like that. And just, you know, how well they cut. So these cut extremely fast. Now, as you move up through the stones, through the medium grits, if you're gonna want the polishing stones to really, really work, you wanna make sure you use these medium grits, you know, um, maybe a little bit extra just because, you know, these are aggressive. So you're gonna wanna get these, the scratch patterns out, you know, and get it really refined before you move up to something like the 15,000. Now, like I said, we'll compare these in just a second um, to other stones. These, you have to use soapy water. So what I do is I take this soap, just standard dish soap, uh, liquid dish soap, and uh, a water bottle or just a bottle period. And I squirt some, some soap in there, put some water in there, shake it up. And when you're shaking it up, you'll know the, the recipe is right if the bubbles expand to the point to where you stop hearing the water go back and forth in the bottle when you shake it because they expand so much that they're not making any sound. So that's when you know your recipe is good. So as long as you have that, th then you got enough soap and water, you have, you, have, you have enough concentration. As far as the metallic bonded stones, they comes with the exact same grits. So exact grits that we just went through over there, we have right here. Now, these you can use dry. You do not need soapy water. You can just run them dry, just like a diamond plate, which is pretty awesome. No mess, no, no, no nothing. Now, the other ones, all you gotta do is splash and go. So these are really easy to use too. You just splash and go. It's not like you have to keep soaking them or anything. Um, you know, they're splash and go stone. But let me pull out the this because unlike other metallic bonded stones that I've tried on the market, this is aggressive. This is very aggressive. It cuts extremely fast. Uh, you know, it cuts just like, you know, regular diamond plate, which is awesome. I love that. And, uh, you know, these are three millimeters thick um, bond. So the resin bond and the metallic bond is three millimeters thick. That's three times the amount as some other stones. Now, I found that their concentration is even better. Um, just, you know, they cut so super fast. Now, with any resin bonded or metallic bonded stone, the first time you use them, first few times you use them, they are, the scratch pattern might be a little bit heavier than you think or that, than it will be moving forward. So like after you've used them, you know, uh, half a dozen times or more, the, the, the mirror polishes will start coming out better and better. So just saying, it's just, you know, the, the, the diamonds get a little bit more refined. Now, 
you do want to, with both of these, get a conditioning stone. So basically a conditioning stone is just a stone that you use to knock down the bond and reveal the diamonds. Because the diamonds are mixed in the bond, kind of like, like chocolate chips in a chocolate chip cookie, right? So you knock down the bond that's holding the diamonds and the diamonds are so hard, this isn't gonna affect them. So what it'll do is it'll allow the diamonds to come out of the surface so then they're more effective. Then you just do that every once in a while. You do that with the resin bonded and the metal bonded stones. Now, these are more wear resistant than these. So the metallic bonded are going to last longer and they, they are much harder. Like, you know, it's metal, right? So with these, if you want to, to make conditioning very fast and just make it go quick, and you can do this with both of these. You can get silicon carbide powder, a piece of glass, and then just put the powder on there, put a little drip of water, and then flatten them. And then what that'll do is it'll resurface the entire stone. You don't have to do that often, but you know, like I usually do them with some of my other resin bonds, like once a year, sometimes, sometimes not even, because if you use the conditioning stone, you sometimes don't even have to do that because you know you just use this to uh, to basically bring out the diamonds and resurface it. And if you're doing this every so often, you pretty much um, are reflattening it too at the same time. Now the metallic bonded stones again cut very fast. They have great feedback once again. You, um, you're not going to get as much feedback with any of these stones when you get up to the finer grits. However, for finer grit stones, I personally love them. I, and there's a few reasons why. One, I love them because they, they one, they get you that, that, that luscious mirror polish. But two, these guys seem to give me the most amount of bite from any stones, meaning after I've sharpened my edge and my, you know, I got a polished edge, the scratches, if you really, really look at it under a microscope or if you get it in the right angle, you'll see scratches. The scratches seem to be a little bit deeper as far as right now goes, but like I said, that will break in, you know, you know, the more and more and more you use it, but regardless, what it does though is it, uh, it leaves, back a an incredibly sharp edge like i don't know if it, maybe it's just me i don't know but i have found that these leave the most nippiest the most heaviest bite to a polished edge i'm talking about like extreme levels of sharpness with these stones and maybe it's because they you know they're, they're nice and flat, they're hard in the diamond concentration. I don't know exactly, but I know that these just, man, they, they cut fast. They, um, you know, they, they work obviously really well. They're long lasting. These are gonna last you years and years and years. Some of these you might be able to pass down to your children or grandchildren. That's how long they could last for you, just depending on how much you sharpen. But the amount of bite that these stones leave behind with their polished edges is just, insane like just an incredible amount of bite resin bonded diamond stones period do that especially with the right steels you know certain steels are going to do better than others at finer grits and the heat treatment is also very important so depending on you know the heat treatment and all of that can determine you know how the edge is going to come out uh, but so far using it on steels that take a pretty good mirror polish uh, these are just absolutely insanely insanely sharp uh, but like, you know, I do think there might be a slight bit of contamination with the finer grit stones, which are kind of leading to that. Uh, but you know, I, I can't, you know, I'm not a hundred percent yet, but, uh, but either way I'm loving it. Now, any stones or any sharpening stone, you know, can leave an incredibly sharp edge, but edges like this, you know, are even more to the extreme. So as far as like how dangerous they are, you know, if you make a mistake or anything like that, you do have to be careful because, you know, if you do slip and you, you cut yourself or something, it's going to do a significant amount of damage with this level of sharpness. Um, now, depending on the steel, the heat treatment and all that will also, you know, determine on how far to the extreme that will go. But, you know, like I said, and these just, these are incredibly sharp edges. So, you know, just be careful, you know, when you sharpen a knife this sharp, um, you know, you don't want to make a mistake with it, you know. These stones also work really, really well for honing. 
and I love using, my favorite honing stones period usually are the finer grit resin bonded diamonds, uh, but these um, are also really, really, really good. Um, you know, you don't even have to go all the way up to the to the finest one. You can use like the resin bonded 3000. That is plenty. This is actually probably the best one to hone on, the 3000 from either the, the CBN or the resin bonded. It just works so good. It's got that perfect amount of hardness where it's very easy because anytime you get to the finer grits, technically, it's a little bit harder to hold your angle because there's not as much feedback, but the 3000 has just enough feedback that, you know, you can hold your angle really well. Plus it's really, really hard. So your bevels are nice and flat and it just gives you the ability to really, really, you know, keep an edge going, you know, long-term and you don't need to use that much, you know, just a couple passes per side. I probably did it too much here. Like literally you can just do a couple passes per side, then hit the strop and you can keep an edge going for a very, very long time on something like this. So my conclusion with these is, you know, the stones from the USA market, which are made in Ukraine, um, they seem to be the fastest cutting sharpening stones for bonded stones that I've experienced as far as metallic bonded CBN or resin bonded diamond. Now, nothing will ever cut as fast as a regular just diamond plate or CBN plate. Now you can just get these if you want, which is just fine. My favorite uh, diamond plates or CBN plates are the Hapstone Starts. These things are amazing. They cut extremely fast. They last a very long time. They're expensive, but in my opinion, they're worth it. Now, the problem is they don't come in freehand size. My favorite for freehand size is Atoma, and Atoma does make one by sixes as well. These use diamond clusters, and the diamond clusters cut extremely, extremely fast. I mean, very, very fast, and they last a long time, longer than regular conventional diamond plates because of the clusters they use. Regular diamond plates, are just that. It's a thin layer of diamonds over the surface, spread out evenly, and they work great as well. And, you know, and you can usually get them a little bit more affordable than the other ones we showed. Um, and they cut extremely fast. Now, the thing is though, is that for diamond plates to get up to the ultra fine grits, you can't use diamond plates. They just, they don't really work. And the ones that do go up very fine to like 3000 grit, they wear out like immediately. So these type of stones are, that's where they, they basically excel. That's where the, the, the greatness of their abilities come out is in the finer grits with super steels or just steels period to, to have the, an incredible amount of bite on a polished edge. Now, another thing is that for reprofiling and cutting fast, these work great. So if you're somebody who's doing a lot of sharpening, you don't have to worry about wearing out your diamond plates if you have something like this, because these will last you so, so, so much longer and you won't have to replace the diamond plates, you know, every other year or, you know, whenever, just depending on how much you sharpen. So in that case, then that would also be a huge plus for these stones, how long they last, you know, how fast they cut and their ability to, to give you incredibly sharp edges because even for the medium grit edges, they're, they're, they're amazing. So all in all, I, I, I tend to think, or just one other thing compared to Veneve, because Veneve has been my favorite. I do find that these stones leave more bite at the same grit. And um, I, I, I think this is possibly the most bite I've ever experienced from, you know, a, a stone as far as from a low angle polished edge. Now, the, the Veneves do tend to leave a little bit more of a mirror polish. And I think that's due to a little bit of contamination. Now, I'm going to argue that it might be a good thing. It just depends on how you look at it. Now, I do notice that the more you use, even with these, when I first got them, the scratch pattern was a little bit deeper than it was after I've used them for a while. And that's probably going to happen here too. And, and you know, it'll probably uh, even out, you know, just as time goes on. But... I do think that possibly these have a little bit of contamination with a little bit of larger diamonds in there because when I look at it under a microscope, every so often on the edge, I'll see a little bit of a deeper scratch. 
Now, the reason why I'm arguing that might just be a good thing is because of the bite that it's leaving. Like, it's almost like it's had mirror finish everywhere, but then every so often it's got a little bit of a deep scratch. And for some reason, man, it just makes that, that polished edge just so damn toothy and so nippy. Um, and, you know, like I said, though, that might start wearing in over time, you know, like how most resin bonded diamond stones, you know, go or bonded uh, stones go. But, you know, I guess we'll see as time goes on. But as far as right now goes, absolutely the most amount of bite I've ever experienced on an edge. I'm really, really um, liking them, both the metal and the resin bond. Now, between the two, the, the metal bond and the resin bond, these are going to last longer, the CBNs. CBNs will last longer than the resin bonded diamonds. So you gotta take that into consideration. That's another reason why the price is a little bit higher and the CBNs, you know, make it a little bit higher. So either way though, the resin bonded diamonds are still gonna last you a very, very, very long time. So it's not really, you know, too big of an issue, uh, but you know, for those that are looking for the best of the best, well, then you're going to want the metal bonded. If you are wanting as close to the best as possible, then you want the resin bonded because the metallic bonded CBN is going to be a little bit superior in wear resistance and things like that. You know, so it just kind of depends on how much it really means to you. Uh, but you know, the resin bonded diamonds are going to get you basically the exact same edge um, with the, the pretty similar bite. Just, you know, they're going to they're going to wear out a little bit faster or maybe even quite a bit faster than the metal bonded ones. But either way, both of them are these things are, are beasts. They cut fast and they leave an incredibly sharp edge um so very impressed with them and like I, I was saying in the beginning i'm gonna be featuring these in many videos moving forward i uh can't wait to test out the freehand stones as you can see i'm freehanding on the little ones as we speak but uh but yeah i'm gonna try to test them all out and then over time we'll see you know how they wear in and you know because these are stones made to last decades you know or at least years and years and years so you know, it, it's it's difficult to, to do a great test on them in a couple of months. So, that being said, work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.